In this video, we talk about DeWalt's new, I don't think it's new, but it's new to us, DCL-077B 2000 lumen light. Put it on stun. Okay, so we're gonna pop right through these things. What batteries will fit in this thing? Uh, it's 2000 loom. Do we do we know it has three different uh, settings? Yep. Uh, so I'm assuming no, 2000 is probably going to be the brightest. Do we know how much it goes and down to? We'll guess that. Let's say that one's 1700, and then this one's 1500. Okay. Know. Oh, we don't know. We don't. Does it say here? No, 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 no. 2000 looms. I bet it does in the instructions. You know, we don't read the instructions. This okay. is the way we so, roll. Okay. Um, check, check the clearances. You got a two amp in so there, I got right? A two amp, twelve volt in it, which is what I primarily want to run in this, and I get a lot. That's of, a two amp, twelve volt. I get quite a bit of runtime out of it. Yeah, cool. So, and then we got a five amp, twelve volt. This one's gonna stick out. What about a half inch? Past the but, back of it. But plenty of clearance, right? Plenty of clearance for the handle to go around. Yep. Yep. Uh, we got a two amp, twenty volt here. Of course, we know that's gonna. Which fit. is gonna be the same size as the two amp, twelve volt. Okay. We got a five amp, which is going to be the same as a five five amp twelve volt. Sticks out a little bit back here, but it clears, it right? It clears. Yes. Okay. The handle go around. The sixty volt, twenty volt, six amp does not clear it's the handle. there. Is it even usable? Is it? Yeah, I'm sure it's usable. Okay. It definitely puts out more light. You can tell initially it's a lot brighter than with the other batteries. That's true. Um, swivel it down. So to swivel it down, you gotta take the battery out. No, can't, will it go up the other direction? Yeah. Well, yeah, barely. Did it clear? Yeah, it goes over. So you can go around. You okay. don't have to remove the battery. It will. Okay, just set it on the battery. So fakes up. There, turn it on. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot of light. Wow. This is the first time we put the flex volt on it. Yeah, it's got quite a bit of light there. Cool. Six amp flex volt. Good light there. Okay. And then we got quarter inch thread. Nice. And then you got the larger thread for like your transit mounts and whatnot. No. Okay, so we're over here to our Bosch pole. We love this thing. We got the laser set right there, but man, we want to get a couple more of these. So that way we can mount them up there. Think about that. We could have one of these things broadcasting light over there. Yep. One broadcasting light over here. And that way we won't have to have those things stealing room. Okay. All right. So, just thread it in there. So, we've ran it like that quite a bit. Harley brought up another really cool idea. Um, we always have these uh, mounts right here. Pop the back off that thing. So there's definitely there's definitely room there for a lot bigger battery. So you could run a screw in here, let's say behind your casing. Um, behind your casing, something that's gonna be So um, these will hold like a standard drywall screw and you can just kind of hang it right there. That'd be super cool. So and it easily rotates, which is kind of cool. Turn, turn it on. Nice, look at that. Totally out of the way. So um you know, if, if your casing's off, or if you just wanted to repair a screw hole at the end of the job, that gets your lights up and out of the way. Yeah, like if Super you had a nail cool. pop, you just, if you're already gonna be working on around like an area on the wall that you already gotta repair it. That, that, that gives really good light up against the ceiling for any ceiling repairs, and plus it broadcasts light pretty good. I'm not gonna say broadcast in this video once more. Yes. Because I don't want to. Okay. And um, start broadcasting. <laughs> okay. So why'd you buy this thing? So I was already on the DeWalt uh, battery setup, the 12 volt. 12 volt. Okay. So I already had quite a few batteries. Cool. And I wanted a compact light besides my work light, which this is great for attics and crawl no, spaces that, that when you're traveling. Cool. But I wanted something that had a large coverage area. That broadcast the broadcasted light, pretty light pretty good. Oh, pretty good. He said I wasn't going to so, say it. Okay. But I wanted to stay on the 12 volt pat, uh, battery platform. I didn't want to, if I did the 20, I wanted something light, like maybe the 2 amp, which is still fine. 
but at the speed that you know charger recharges the 12 volt you really can't beat it yeah but well let's get to that so this is a fully charged 12 volt yep two uh, amp so. let's let's start your timer and see how long this thing runs and then we're going to test uh five amp 12 volt we're doing the five amp 12 volt yep or the 20. so five amp okay and then we can do a five amp 20 volt right. yeah that's what we'll do let's do it so we just came back in and we saw our light was off um, so so just say two and a half hours whatever that two amp is on yeah so and let's uh start that timer up and put the five amp okay. 12 volt in what were you gonna say well i was gonna say battery life varies too depending on how old your battery is how new how it old is. is that uh, pretty new um 2019 2019 so. that's a holdover almost four years old oh no this thing just flashed yep with the and five amp 12 volt on it what's that what's the time say five min five hours 45 minutes so it's not officially dead nope. it did just flash so we'll say probably has another five minutes the five left. amp not 12 volt again. does quite a while yeah 15 minutes under six hours so five hours 45 minutes so we'll do the five amp 20 volt next all right. following morning because we ran out of hours yesterday so all right what do we got here so we got the 20 volt 5 amp here fully charged fresh off the charger okay so the time with the 12 volt 5 amp was five hours 45 minutes correct so here we go, we go. 20 volt 20 5 volt. amp now this is a few years old yes how, how, how many years old do you think that is three uh 2016. really date stamp wow it doesn't seem like they're that old but they seem to be chugging along so we'll see all right things just started flashing this is a 20 volt 5 amp what do we got four hours 55 minutes how about we just call it five hours yeah it just so so the 12 volt 5 amp it's flashing made it five hours 45 minutes yep Oh, it's another 45 minutes so the little 12 volt 5 amp made it 45 minutes longer than that so okay. all right um we'll wrap this video up but we gotta get back i'm gonna put some skins on this first so that's priority then we'll finish this video up never would have seen that before what's that what what'd you say jeep performance led where are you reading that right there on top oh you're right right on top of that light one thing we thought we'd do would come out here beside the trailer where there's no lights and once you put it down beside the tire tire well you could back that thing up a ways that's a lot of light that's too much light so that's about yeah yeah about four or five feet it's got the entire trailer lit up pretty good i think that's pretty decent final thoughts of this thing oh kind of like candlelight all right, so what do you think about it? I like it. Okay. You still got the protective screen. Yes, I do. Probably They're leave on that on for we'll a little leave while. leave it on just like a, like a new radio. Yeah. A new vehicle, you got to leave yeah. it on or as a, long as you can. T-shirts or pants, leave the tags on. Yeah. Definitely keep your eye on these. The prices go up and down drastically. Amazon, they fluctuated quite a bit to where it was significantly lower than the first one that I had paid. Is that it? I think that's it. We covered time, how you can mount the thing. Yeah. Hey, sh shine it out in the woods there. Or out where we can see that like low. 40, 50 feet out there yeah. at least. We done? Yeah, we're done. All right. See us.